Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing an everyday makeup tutorial. A lot of people have been asking and I haven't done one in a while, in a really long time. Correction. Yeah, I already filmed this, but I filmed it a couple weeks ago and I can't really remember if I liked it or not. So I'm doing it again just to see if I act better in this one. I, don't know. I change per day. And also, why not? Okay. I essentially do this every time I do makeup now. I miss doing like really pretty eyeshadow looks and like all these cool things. And I'll get back into it eventually, but I'm really, I don't know, I just feel really good. I do I makeup like this? Like unstoppable. So I don't want to do anything else until I can learn how to act right. I feel like garbage without it, if I'm being honest. Actually, that's not true. I love myself. Okay, so I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I don't do anything crazy. I think I'm out. Dang it. Okay, so I'm gonna use what I have. I don't even know if that did anything because there's literally nothing in this. A cold front came into Dallas yesterday and it's finally getting cold. I'm ready to slay, I think, with like sweaters and stuff. I don't know if I thrive better when I can like hide my body or not, but that might say something about me. I don't know. So before I do my face, I'm gonna look at what I have. So Anna texted me and said that they got the new Red Bull in. And I'm gonna try it. This is the Fig Apple. I've already had coffee today. I smell it. Cause I liked their Kiwi Apple and they don't even have it anymore. And I hate them for it. Okay, it smells like apple. <laughs> That tastes like a candle, but a really good candle. I say yes. I don't like the colors though. Who did that? It should be like a cranberry red or even like a purple. Actually purple's ugly. For moisturizer, I use the e.l.f. Daily Hydration Moisturizer. And then on top, I'll go in with the Glow Recipe Watermelon thingy. I also can't find my clips for my bangs. Bad day for America. I prime with the Rare Beauty Primer, the pore diffusing one. I like the illuminating one as well, but it just depends on the day. I don't know. I just put it in my T-zone area wherever I know I'm going to put my layers of concealer on because God rest my skin soul. Skin's a soul. After I prime, I use the e.l.f. setting spray. I spray it all over my face. I heard somewhere that this is supposed to keep your makeup on for a super, super long time. And I'm gonna be really honest here. My makeup stays on all day anyways with what I do, but this might help. I don't know. The thing is, I don't know. I start sentences and don't fi finish them. <laughs> I haven't talked to myself in a really long time, so this is really weird. I actually have a lot of inner dialogue, but I usually don't say it out loud. So for foundation, I use the ColourPop Pretty Fresh foundation. This one is Fair 25W. This is so good and gorgeous. I really like the Fenty matte one as well. So with my foundation, I will apply it on the outside of my face and then go inwards. I don't put a lot in my T-zone area because I put so much concealer there. I don't want to make it suffocate anymore with foundation that is going to be covered up anyways. So, so then I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me thingy. This is the shade Coconut. I thought this was a contour stick this whole time because it looks like it. I just apply that where you put it. Now, this is nitty gritty. This is a big step because this is where you start looking really good. I use three concealers. Oh my god. I don't want to hear it. Why? Why, why, why? I don't know. So, I'm going to go ahead and start with the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. So this is my thought process, okay? So I start off with a really hydrating concealer as the base. It has coverage, but I don't rely on the coverage for this one. And then I go in with the Too Faced, Too, F oh, it is Too Faced, I said it right, <laughs> okay. For the coverage, because this one, very good for coverage, but it's also expensive. And why would I 
use all of this on my face just so I can buy more. No, this lasts me like a year if I do this. Once I do that, I add e.l.f. 16 hour camo finish. And you know why I do this? Because it's so white. And this highlights my inner corner. Take it or leave it, girl. My pores are so sad all the time. You know what? I don't know. Because I look good. And then I do the Too Faced. Put it right there, right there. This mirror is so small, I don't know why I'm using it. There we go. My big face wouldn't fit in the mirror. <laughs> With all of that, I'm gonna go on my upper lid. Upper lid? To prevent my eyelids from crisping. Chris <laughs> To prevent my eyelids from creasing, is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna finish blending in my eyelid first before I tell you. You're gonna go like this, and then you're gonna get your pressed powder, the one size powder. This one's really good, but I got the wrong shade literally twice and I couldn't return it. You notice your eyelids underneath crease because, duh. We're gonna use the e.l.f. camo concealer. And I'm just gonna blend all of this in. Did you hear that? That was pretty cool. I'm gonna just apply the pressed powder wherever I put the concealer. After I apply all that pressed powder, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier loose powder and put that in the same place. But I'm only gonna let it sit for like a minute and then I'm gonna brush it off because it's just to like brighten it and then make sure all that shit stays. So for bronzer, I've been using the Benefit Hoola. And then after that, I'll do my blush. I've been using the Gucci blush. This is the shade Warm Berry. After I apply my subtle blush, we got my bake, bake underneath, and then bring it up a little bit. Setting spray, I use this one because duh. For my eyes, I'm gonna use a gel liner. This is the Pretty Vulgar one. This is super old, and I'm pretty sure this one gave me a sty, but this one's good as far as I know because it's been working good even though it's old, so if it's new, I bet it's even better. I just do a pretty small wing. I usually will just go from the top, make a pretty tiny one. I just make a small wing like that. Do the same for the other side. As much as you can, right? They're cousins, not twins. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and line my whole eye with a very thin line. Oh, please don't fuck up. That'd be so embarrassing. This is the Benefit eyeliner, by the way. I'm just gonna go ahead and use a black eyeshadow. I'm gonna use the one from Blush Tribe palette. A lot of blacks have a really bad reputation for fallout. All of them have it, but this one is super, super good. So I'm just gonna get this angled brush, get some black and pack it on top and kind of just swipe over the gel liner. I'm just gonna use an angled brush and just use a random brown eyeshadow and go over it a little bit. These are my favorite. I know that Amazon is bad, but you can find the best lashes on there for so cheap. This whole thing is $8. I'll put the link down below. They're like the Caspering ones or Cape, I don't fucking know. They start, it starts with a C. I've lost every single one, the two <laughs> there. I also got these ones that look really good too. They're a little bit more dainty, dainty and petite. They look like Miami's a little bit, but we'll see. All lashes I have to cut because my eyes are huge, but small. My eyeballs are huge. My eyes are small. That's goals. They're just so pretty, like, oh my god. Look how much prettier I just got. These are really tiny. I hope that they fit my really petite eyelids. <laughs> They're not even that small. I'm just joking. While those are gluing, I'm gonna put on my lip liner. I'm so depressed for so many reasons, but a big one right now is they discontinued KKW. I'm not upset about that, but my favorite lip liner was a part of its family. I'm never gonna be able to get it again. I've tried to look on it resale. It was originally like $10 and they're selling it for like 30. And the funny part is I don't even have $30. I couldn't even buy it if I wanted to. I'm using the Kylie lip liner in the shade Malibu and I'm just outlining my lips and then literally rubbing them in. Also my lash glue is probably done. So I'm gonna put my lashes on. Intermission. So then I do fake freckles. Colourpop. Feather Effect Brow Pen. I know it's a brow pen, but it's so good for freckles. I just put dots wherever like I have some freckles already. I couldn't get this shit down for a really long time, 
Uh. So, I'm super sorry that this is the way it has to be, because I don't know how else to do it. Couple things, you're going to need something sharp-ish, and then an eyeshadow that you don't mind scraping up. I use just this brown one from this Milani palette, and then a setting spray. And then also a like janky ass brush. So I'm just gonna scrape the brown, and then I will spray my setting spray down. And then I'm going to dip my brush into the setting spray, and then dip it into the powder, and then I'll flick it on my face like it's paint. It's hard, because you don't wanna get the brush too wet. Oh, that's why. But then, if you don't do it wet enough, it won't even show up. I'll just go over it with this. I'm gonna use a really tiny brush and then just the same liner I used. I'm gonna put it on my waterline. So I'll just kinda go like that. Oh, it tickled. I like I have duro on my finger. And that's not it. I tricked you all. For my lower lash line mascara, I'll use the Pacifica mascara like this on all of them. Then I'll pick a lucky winner at the end of the brush and just do that. For highlight, I will use the Benefit Cookie one. It's super good. And I'll just put that with my finger on my nose, inner corner, and then you're hot. And that was it for my everyday makeup tutorial. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you guys in my next video.